I haven't started off the vlog yet today. I just got back from Costco. I quickly went this morning with my dad and my sister. We all needed some things, so we all decided to go together. Got a lot of the same things that we usually get, but just wanted to quickly share and do a quick rundown of everything. So I got some eggs, some chicken breast, ground turkey, ground beef, pot roast. This stuff is really good. Got this cilantro lime crema. Came with two of them. I gave one to my sister. Krish and I got these last time. We went to Costco and they're so good. So I thought it'd be really good to have steak tacos because these were right above this container of sirloin. And it gives you a decent amount of the sirloin per package. So it comes with two separate packages and we got two nights of dinners per package. Really easy. Really yummy, so I got two of those. Cauliflower crust pizza, this pizza is really, really good. Just easy to have in the freezer for lunch. I am obsessed with this Japanese barbecue sauce and they had huge bottles of it at Costco for a really decent price. It was like a dollar or two more than the little one that you get at like the regular grocery store. So I got a big bottle of that. We love putting that on salmon for salmon rice bowls. You can do it for meal prep on ground turkey, ground beef. Do like an Asian style meal prep, which we love. Big thing of salmon when Christian comes home tomorrow because he's been out of town on a work trip all week. He will be cutting this up and vacuum sealing it, but we got a big thing of salmon. Stuffed peppers, we'll probably do this tomorrow night for dinner or Monday. Tide pods and then toilet paper and paper towels. And that is everything we got from Costco. So I'm gonna put all of this away and then I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. This is the first time you're seeing my face today, but I'm about to head out and get my hair done, finally. It's been since the last week of January since I've gotten it done and I haven't even gotten my full head dyed since the first week of November. So it's been six months since getting my whole head dyed because when I did go in February, I just got literally like the front pieces all done and then like a little layer on the back and I didn't do any of this underneath part. But I think what I'm gonna do this time is get a full head of highlights and then just do a root tap down my hairline and keep the whole rest of the head pretty bright and blonde and then I need a trim. So about to be in the chair for probably four hours <laughs> to try and get this whole entire head dyed but just wearing like a comfy long sleeve t-shirt I feel like I get cold in there sitting there all day so I'm gonna head there now and you'll see me with some fresh blonde highlights. Just got home from the hair salon. So bright and blonde. I got a little bit of shorter pieces in the front and kind of angled it down. And then I got an inch off the bottom, but I got a full head of highlights and then just a little root tap down the middle. But feels so good to have fresh hair. And just got home. From that, I was there for like four hours almost. I had to put on chapstick. But I'm just gonna make some quick dinner and then head to bed. I was thinking about tomorrow's Mother's Day and if you guys have been following me for a while, um, my mom isn't around. She passed away many years ago now. Um, I think it'll be eight years this year, which is kind of crazy that it's been eight years and I've lived through like eight years and these are the eight years that I wish she was here the most because there's just so many things that I have experienced without her and it sucks that she wasn't here to experience these moments with me physically, but I know she was here in spirit. So I was 
tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I can't celebrate her. So I was thinking about taking myself out to breakfast. My brother is so sick. I have a twin brother, if you guys didn't know that either. I have a twin brother and a younger sister who's two years younger than me. And she's busy tomorrow, and he, my brother, is really sick. So I think I'm going to go take myself out to just like a little breakfast area on Park Ave and um, just be by myself and just take myself out to breakfast. I've been really good about eating at home since last Friday. I haven't eaten out. So it's been eight days of me eating at home. So I'm gonna treat myself, eat out tomorrow for breakfast, take myself out to breakfast and coffee. And I think I'm gonna go pretty early to kind of like beat the crowd of like the Mother's Day crowd. But I always try and do stuff like that on Mother's Day. Try like get out and do things that like make me happy and like bring me joy because I would definitely be doing that for her if she was around. Here's a reminder if you're in the same boat, just do something for yourself, buy yourself flowers, just do something small for yourself if you don't have a mother to spoil. Anyways, just wanted to update. I will probably pick up the camera again tomorrow. about to start crying I was driving down this road obviously thinking of my mom because it's Mother's Day so I was driving down this road listening to music just like thinking about her and I saw some yellow butterflies and butterflies were my favorite animal growing up I was literally obsessed I know that she my mom comes and visits me through butterflies I just I have this feeling this sense just because I literally love them they're my favorite animal growing up and I saw the butterflies and I was like, oh, like, hi mom, like a reminder. And then I look over to my left and I see this fence of butterflies. <laughs> and I like immediately started tearing up because it's like her. I'm like crying right now, but she's always with me. Just got home from going to breakfast and getting coffee and I went to the grocery store while I was out because it makes more sense to like do it while you're out so I brought my reusable bags with me and went to the grocery store right after soda was buy two get one free breakfast was so good I tried a new place called Barney's coffee and tea I believe yeah, it's called Barney's Coffee and Tea. It's on Park Ave. I've never been there before. I also tried a smoked salmon um, bagel, which I've never had before. So tried a new place, tried a new meal. It was enjoyable to go by myself. I never really do that. So I feel like I need to go and do that more. And then obviously like just reflected on everything and like I've I didn't really expect to be like super emotional today, but like it kind of is like coming in waves. Like it just hits you that she's gone, but yeah. And then just on my car ride home, I know that my mom, now that I'm collected, I know that my mom um, comes to me through butterflies. I just think it's really symbolic to me of her because I was literally obsessed with butterflies. Like I had dried butterflies on my wall. I had butterfly t-shirts, butterfly books, like my mom took me to a butterfly, I guess, sanctuary before. I was just obsessed, literally obsessed with butterflies. So I know that's how she comes to me. I know red cardinals, um, I want to say mockingbirds too. It's kind of symbolic, but mainly butterflies. And I was just driving down a road that I don't normally take and I was just like thinking of her and then I saw two yellow butterflies like crossed right in front of my car and then i all of a sudden had the urge to like look to my left and i see that wall of like or that fence of with butterflies on it and i've never seen that fence before i've never just felt i felt so inclined to turn to my left immediately it was just 
crazy and I just think it was her and I don't know it's just like a reminder yeah she's like not here physically but she's definitely like always with me so it like made me start crying I had to like turn around and like go and like just sit there and like look at it it just felt nice and like reassuring that um she's here so that was nice to cry a little bit and um so I've just been reflecting on my childhood and all of the amazing memories that I have with her today which I always like to do but anyways went to the grocery store me and my Christmas bags got some snacks you know um, I, Christian loves these so I picked them up for him because he's coming home today and I miss him so much I haven't seen him in like nine days and I know that's not a long time I mean I probably a lot of you do long distance which I'm sure is incredibly hard I'm so grateful that Christian and I met and we're not long distance we've never been long distance I feel grateful for that but um, it's nice to miss him it's been so nice to be able to miss him and because we live together so I don't it's not like I miss him all the time so it was nice to miss him but I'm ready for him to be home so I got him these cheesecake almond cones these are his favorite from Publix so I'm gonna surprise him with those when he comes home a lot of stuff was buy one get one free my milk was buy one get one free so that was great just got a few things for the week and I got Olipop this week because it was on sale and the poppy was cleared out for some reason. I don't know. And it wasn't even on sale. So I don't even know why the poppy was so, the shelf was so empty. But I got Olipop this week because it was two for four. So you save like a dollar because I think it's like $2.49 or something. Something ridiculous. They are pretty expensive, honestly. Um, I heard Aldi actually has like a version of like a prebiotic probiotic soda which i want to try and it's cheaper apparently than olipop or poppy so maybe i'll give those a try next weekend i heard that they just have their own version i don't know if it's the ld brand but they carry it there so i want to try those but the flavors that i got are the vintage cola strawberry vanilla cherry vanilla and then i got another um vintage cola so these are really good I got those. And then of course the regular soda. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and it's not even noon. It's not even the afternoon yet. So I'm glad that I got a majority of the stuff done. I'm gonna meal prep later today. I have the ground turkey thawing in the fridge and I'm doing some laundry. I need to switch that over. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. When you see this, I hope you celebrated in the best way. And if your mom's not around, I feel for you. And I hope you did something for yourself today. So I don't know how this happened, but I got three boxes of La Cologne coffee in the mail. I think it's because I was changing the date on when to like restart my subscription. And maybe I clicked confirm too many times and, but it only charged me for two boxes. I don't know. It was weird. I was changing it because I went to the store last weekend and got another box of coffee so I didn't need any more yet and yeah so three boxes showed up honestly don't know really how but I'm gonna vacuum seal them to try and keep them fresh I guess this is a tip if you bulk order your coffee or anything like that just take out what you need and to keep the rest fresh vacuum seal it so i'm gonna vacuum seal like two and a half of these and then try and fill as much in this jar as possible and that will help keep these beans fresh until i use them so gonna do this the vacuum sealer is honestly the best investment especially if you are buying large quantities of like meat and things at costco or even just like a big thing of salmon and you know you're not going to eat a huge thing of salmon you can vacuum seal it and keep it fresh throw it in your freezer and it stays good no freezer burn or anything like that so i'm gonna do this we have these little bags and you put the little nozzle on this part and it's like resealable so i might use this
completely sealed. So this will stay. This will be good because then I can just open up the top and take out what I need when I need it and then reseal it back up super easily again to help keep it fresh. <laughs> Okay, just finished meal prepping. It's almost 5.30. I'm going to head to my brother's house. And my sister's going to meet us there. And we're going to have dinner together. My dad's out of town in Vero Beach for the weekend. I think he comes back tomorrow. So me and my siblings are going to get together for Mother's Day. And my brother cooked like a whole rotisserie chicken. His future wife is going to be so lucky. He is such an insane cook. But just finished meal prepping our lunches for the week. And this is what I did. We do the Asian style meal prep a lot. It's one of our favorites. We do ground turkey. And then I just started doing the Japanese barbecue sauce on the ground turkey instead of liquid aminos. And this is so good. So I do this for the meal prep. And then I also do this for the salmon rice bowls that went viral on TikTok. I cooked the salmon in this. So did that so i did the rice cauliflower stir fry for me we didn't have enough for all of our meals so i just did it for me and then for christian i did the asian wok quinoa blend and then this is the vegetable that we do just a asian medley bird's eye it's in the frozen section really easy quick meal prep it took me like 30 minutes to do and affordable flavorful really yummy so that's why it's just a constant one that we do it's just really easy for me that's what i love if you're looking to incorporate meal prep into your routine for work definitely recommend this so easy like minimal ingredients because everything's done for you <laughs> so <laughs> pretty tired <laughs> I woke up at 5 a.m. for like no reason and then I couldn't go back to sleep I was like trying so hard and at 7 30 I was like it's just probably not gonna be happening for me so I got up it's 8 45 so I want to try and go to bed by like 9 15 so I'm gonna make my sleepy time tea anyways I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed i'm really hoping for a better work week this week and i don't want to say i have the sunday scaries going into the week but i do feel a little bit just curious on how it's gonna go so i'm keeping like my fingers crossed that it's like gonna be an okay week but i know tomorrow i have to do an application that i just did last week for someone else and the application was just extensive and ridiculous. So I know that's what's in store for me tomorrow. So what are you gonna do? It's work, it's life. There's always gonna be some aspect of a job that's not perfect. So that's okay. It makes me appreciate other aspects of my job that I enjoy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.